Hey guys, I'm gonna be, today I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, compress ISOs into CSOs. What that does is make your original ISO way smaller. So if you have a game, an ISO game that is uh, one gigabyte and uh, you want to compress it and once you compress it into a CSO, it will now become about like 600 megabytes okay it just makes it way smaller and I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that so you want to download a game or if you already have a game so you grab that game I'll just choose uh, as you can see I have tons of games I'll choose um, manhunt wait no it's already CSO sorry uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City stories love this game played it a lot and there I have my ISO, okay? That right now it is 1.16 gigabytes. It's big, right? It takes up tons of space, and uh, so I compressed it using this program. I'll have it in the description. Just open it up. No, no, no viruses. Trust me, it's just a compressor like any other, and uh, you just I'll show you how to compress it. But I'll show you what it will become. So now. I compressed it and the CSO file is now 582 megabytes that's that's more than half that's way more than half of the space okay it took out like I mean it doesn't really take out anything but it compressed like it made it 582 megabytes that is so much smaller than 1.16 gigabytes okay there's um, a thousand megabytes in one gigabyte so it took out more than 500 megabytes. That's a lot of space. Okay. So what you want to do to do this is you want to open up PSP ISO compressor. This is you will download or open it. I forget. You have to download it. But uh, anyway, so you just open that and you want to do compress ISO to CSO. This program also lets you uncompress the uh, the file. So if you have a CSO file and you want to put it into an ISO file. You can do so by clicking right here, uncompress CSO to ISO. But for right now, we're just going to do the compress. So once you click compress, ISO to CSO, make sure you have the right one. You want to go in here where it says input files and click the three dots. I forget what those are called. And you want to navigate to where you saved your uh, file. So uh, mine is Grand Theft Auto, right? So right here. And I'm gonna click the ISO. It's an ISO image, so you want to open that, and just click OK, and then press compress. Now for you, this this pop up won't come up, but for me it is because I already have the CSO image, but this won't happen for you. So just uh, whatever, and this thing will pop up, okay? And uh, you just want to wait. It probably depending on how big the file is will depend on how long it will take like anything else like if, if you're compressing a regular folder same thing or uncompressing it same thing it takes longer the bigger the file is so just uh, wait for this and I will come back when it's done alright so it's done um, this thing popped back up and uh, so you can just exit this out and uh, go to where you saved your thing and it will save it in the same directory as where your original ISO thing was. Okay, so I want to go. Okay, so uh, open that up, and now you will see the CSO file. And sometimes it may not be that much smaller, and sometimes it will be a whole lot smaller. Like this one, for example, how it turned one point. 1.16 gigabytes into uh, five 582 megabytes. Okay, that that's just amazing how how much smaller it makes it. And sometimes it might not even take out that much. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. All right, see you later.